Copilot has finally arrived in OneDrive. And with these features now rolling out for most tenants, if you have a Copilot for Microsoft 365 license, you may well be able to access Copilot in OneDrive too. So let's take a look at what new features this brings for Copilot users, and whether this has been worth the multi-month wait since these new capabilities were first announced. But first, a quick introduction. My name is Nick DeCorsi. I'm the owner of Bright Ideas Agency, a digital transformation consulting company focused on the needs of smaller businesses. I'm also the author of Who's in the Copilot Seat, a guidebook for small and medium-sized business leaders on how to adopt AI technology. Check out the links below if you're interested in learning more. We first got a picture of what Copilot in OneDrive would be all about in October of 2023 with Microsoft's The Future of File Management is Here event. I made a video about that at the time, which I'll link below. And in the spirit of keeping Microsoft honest, I'll circle back to that event before the end of this video to highlight whether they delivered on their promises for this product made nearly a year ago. I have to be honest, I am not really a regular user of the OneDrive web app. I sync files to my PCs via OneDrive, and I do most of my file management via Explorer. Unfortunately though, no new Copilot capabilities that are part of Copilot in OneDrive have come to the Windows Explorer. If you want to use Copilot features in OneDrive, then this is a purely web-based experience. Opening the OneDrive web app from office.com, the first thing I notice is that all the normal signs of Copilot are kind of missing, so it might not immediately be clear how I even use Copilot here. However, number one, the first time you load up OneDrive after Copilot has been activated in your environment, you will see some intro messages, and number two, Copilot is contextual, so it only gets offered to you when you select something that can be Copiloted. I will say though that I have found that sometimes the Copilot capabilities here load and sometimes they don't, so your mileage may vary. Copilot's capabilities in OneDrive can be broken down into a few broad categories. AI-based summarization, AI-based file comparison, and AI chat with your files. Let's start with summarization. There are really two places to summarize with these capabilities. First, I can select a file or even multiple files and create a summary. This is roughly going to give you an equivalent sort of response as if you opened Copilot Chat and selected these files for inclusion and asked Copilot to summarize them. You can also choose to share a file and generate a summary from Copilot directly in your share message. Once you share the file, that will turn up in the email to the person you share it with. Do note that as always, any screen recordings you see in this video are captured using demo environments. I have similar options if I open SharePoint files in OneDrive, but if I open the same document library in SharePoint, I cannot use Copilot. I can though use Copilot from the OneDrive app in Teams or the new Outlook app. Similarly, I can create an FAQ or do a comparison between a group of files. Here you see an FAQ being created from a file in SharePoint, and here you see a comparison of some resumes. And lastly, if I select Ask a Question, I open up a Copilot sidebar, as we are familiar with everywhere else we have Copilot, and can chat with my content with reference to whatever is selected on screen. Strangely, there doesn't currently seem to be a way to open this sidebar without using the Ask a Question dialog, but once it's open, you can leave it open, select different files, and chat about those. There are also limited additional grounding options you can use via the paperclip icon in the chat. And that's really the overview of everything Copilot in OneDrive does right now. But I promise to consider how it stacks up against what got announced, so let's do that next. If you're finding this video useful, it would be great if you'd give it a like, and if you want to see more like this, please do subscribe to the channel. Those of you who watch my videos will know that one of the things I've started to do with new Copilot feature releases is consider them in comparison to the earlier feature announcement. I do this for two reasons, really. First, because I'm clearly a man who gives far too little attention to experiencing joy. And second, because I've become rather fed up with the trajectory of the AI age that seems like promising big and delivering small is the way to succeed. I love Copilot and I use it every day, 
but I'm still waiting to be able to reference my OneNote files when I draft a document. And I'm only waiting for this because Microsoft literally showed it to me as a capability of this tool back in March 2023, and as of August 2024, has still not delivered this feature. So as Copilot for OneDrive exists today, how well does it stack up against what was announced? The answer is not very well at all. Summaries and comparisons and chat with files are all helpful. And if you do a lot of your work from the OneDrive app, having these capabilities there are very useful. But none of this is new, and beyond a little added convenience for some use cases, you could pretty much do all these things six months ago using Copilot Chat. By comparison, there were features previewed in that announcement event last year that are radically different to what we have in Copilot already, and would add a massive amount of value in being added to OneDrive and Copilot. Let's consider four of those. First, as you have seen, we are limited to reasoning over five files in OneDrive Copilot, which while better than one or two, is still less than we see even with Copilot Chat. The difficulty with Copilot Chat and the big benefit of the OneDrive interface is it can be somewhat difficult to find the right files to reference in Copilot prompts, despite now the inclusion of an Add from OneDrive button in some places. And so the option to just select multiple files in OneDrive as the grounding source is valuable. However, as delivered, this is radically different to what was promised of... Copilot can answer questions not just on a single file, but multiple files, even an entire folder or document library. Which gives the impression that essentially you could create a rag bot on the fly just by selecting the right files. And while I'm sure this will improve over time, Given that a document library can contain 5,000 or more files, we have a very long way to go from a five file limit to what was suggested here. Then, another interesting feature was shown. Since Copilot understands you may benefit from finding these files easily in the future, it suggests adding these files to a new folder. And this is the fun part. Because you're in a folder with files related to a project, Copilot can recommend other files and content related to this project that you can then choose to add to this folder. In just a matter of minutes, what started as a simple search has resulted in your very own knowledge library on this project. This vision of Copilot, not just looking over content, but proactively helping you to organize it using Copilot, would be a big deal. And frankly, despite these types of proactive organizational features being shown off from Copilot in other places too, like OneNote or Loop, so far they are nothing more than a slick demo. Taking Copilot's help with this sort of data from the ephemeral to something you can come back to and work on later, or even proactively getting suggestions to add to, is a next level Copilot where we still seem to be some way from delivery today. Whenever you're ready to collaborate, Copilot has awareness of other people in your team that's working with you making sharing a truly magical experience. No doubt adding Copilot driven summaries to your file sharing is a good feature, but reminding you of who to share with is next level. How often have you jumped across to another interface and inadvertently missed someone off of something crucial? I know I have, and it also never feels good to be on the receiving end, or more correctly, not on the receiving end of that sort of error. Now imagine this folder was shared with you. But not just this folder. Since your last login to OneDrive, there have been multiple files that have been shared with you, along with new revisions made by others to your documents, new comments that need your attention, and a lot more. In this world of active collaboration, staying on top of your files can feel like a never-ending task. Well, not anymore. The new catch-up feature on OneDrive will give you a daily digest that helps you quickly glance at summaries of new files that have been shared with you, changes that have been made to files you've shared with others, a summarized look at new comments, a prioritized list of documents at upcoming meetings, and a whole lot more. This is the utopian view of how Copilot works as your assistant, but the reality as delivered right now is rather more basic. I don't fault Microsoft for having big dreams about what Copilot can do or will do, but I do fault them for ongoing communication where it's really hard to work out what actually is getting delivered in products versus what was announced, or any sort of roadmap or timeline for realising many of those features. As I have said here before and will probably say again, a product can both be amazing, as Copilot is, and disappointing as Copilot is, and Microsoft's way of communicating about it, in my opinion, continues to be more broadly successful in focusing people's minds on the latter. Let me be clear though, 
I think Microsoft's team is doing a great job with these products. However, if we don't judge success against what companies themselves say they are going to deliver, what scoring system should we use? In my own business, whatever quality of service I deliver, unless I am successful in the things I promised, my customer is going to question my performance. Do you think it's fair for me to focus in on Microsoft's announcements as a measure of their success in pushing out features? Let me know down in the comments. The path to effectively adopt generative AI in your business grows in complexity as issues like this raise their heads and show us new priorities we should be focusing on. Whether you are new to Copilot, needing help with an ongoing adoption, or looking for a strategic advisory partner to help you achieve the most with these technologies in the future, I welcome you reaching out to learn how my services will deliver value to you. Check out the links below where you can get started with a no obligation introductory call to find out if my services are a good fit for what you need and to see other materials I have available, such as my currently free AI adoption overview course for executives. Again, with the rollout of Copilot in OneDrive, those with Copilot for Microsoft 365 licenses start to get more value in more places across Microsoft 365. It offers solid features that will certainly be useful to many users, but also creates yet another route through which to do many things we could already do, without so far at least creating any killer new value every user will want to experience. What are your thoughts on Copilot in OneDrive? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching through to the end. Until the next video, bye bye.